Welcome to Ernest A. Love Field in Prescott, Arizona, home to the Eagle Pilot School. Our location here offers fantastic flying weather, several runways, and a control tower, all surrounded by the wild beauty of the American Southwest. This is one of our Piper PA-28 Cherokees. It's an incredibly popular general aviation aircraft that's often used for training. The instrument panel is a bit dated compared to some modern glass cockpits, but personally, I like the steam gauges. Ready? Let's get going. Let's start with a simple trip around the airport traffic pattern. I'll explain more while we taxi to the runway. Prescott Ground, Cherokee 109 or Sierra Hotel at Eagle, ready to taxi, remaining in pattern. Cherokee 109 or Sierra Hotel, Prescott Ground, altimeter 299 or 6. Runway 3 right at Foxtrot, intersection departure. Taxi via Foxtrot. Three right at Foxtrot via Foxtrot. Cherokee Niner Sierra Hotel. Okay, it's your airplane. Taxi us along taxiway Foxtrot to the intersection with runway three right. Taxiway Foxtrot is straight ahead of us. Follow the yellow lines, then turn right. The traffic pattern is a rectangular pattern around a runway that allows aircraft to take off and land in an orderly manner. The pattern is especially important at airports without control towers. Flying the pattern also makes it easy to configure the airplane in the same way every time and make a stable approach to land. Go straight across here. Stop here. Prescott Tower, Cherokee 109 or Sierra Hotel is ready to go, holding short runway three right at Foxtrot, remaining in the pattern. Cherokee 109 or Sierra Hotel, Prescott Tower. Right close traffic approved. Runway three right at Foxtrot, intersection departure, cleared for takeoff. Right close traffic approved, cleared for takeoff three right, Niner Sierra Hotel. Taxi to the right out onto the runway. Okay, line up and give it full power. rotates at 55 knots. Great. Now pitch to climb at 75 knots, which is the best climb speed in the Cherokee. There's a slight crosswind from the left today. You'll need to turn left a few degrees to correct the wind drift and maintain the runway center line. Climb straight out to 5,700 feet. That's 300 feet below the pattern altitude of 6,000 feet. You're slow. Lower the nose to climb at 75 knots. Okay, here comes 5,700 feet. Now make a turn 90 degrees right to a heading of 120 degrees. Keep climbing to 6,000 feet. Okay, here's 6,000 feet. 
Level off and hold 90 knots. Once you reach pattern altitude, pause for just a moment, then turn downwind. Go ahead and turn right 90 degrees now. Fly heading 210. Maintain 90 knots and 6,000 feet. Your goal is to fly a ground track parallel to the runway. You're slow. Speed up to 90 knots. Okay, downwind is a good time to do the pre-landing checks. Belts are tight. Mixture is rich. Fuel pump is on. Landing gear is down and welded. Okay, you're a beam the touchdown zone, so start descending. Pull the throttle back and lower the nose to initiate a descent. At one notch of flaps and the aircraft will slow to around 75 knots. Aim for a 500 foot per minute descent rate. Now start looking over your shoulder at the runway. We'll turn base when we're 45 degrees off our touchdown point. onto the base leg. Flight 300 degrees. Add one more notch of flaps and slow to 70. Now watch the runway. Try to time your turn to roll out onto the runway center line. Keep this turn shallow since we're flying slow. Done properly, you should roll out right on the center line at just the right altitude to continue a stable approach. center line. When you think you've got the runway made, add the last notch of flaps. Slow to 65 knots on short final. Stop here. Very nice. 